New tonight, a family is thankful to be alive after a fire destroyed their home, leaving them with only the clothes on their back. Ladedra Horison and her children were asleep Friday night when she says her dryer suddenly caught fire spreading throughout her home. Way 31's Alexis Scott shares with us how the community is stepping up to help this family get back on their feet. This is how LaDanger Horson's son describes his mother after a devastating fire ripped through their home. I just remember just telling myself to grab the kids and get out. Horson told me as she and her three children were sleeping when she woke up to smoke. At first, Horson says she wanted to try to put the fire out herself, but when she noticed how big it was getting, she says her focus quickly shifted to making sure everyone got out of the home. She says it was extremely hard to leave everything behind, knowing she worked so hard for what she had. You talking to someone that went around the neighborhood stealing bikes for transportation. You talking to somebody that slept on air mattresses. You know what I'm saying? And I had everything in the house and I was finally proud of my house. I had built it up to where I was proud. A counselor at Threadgill Primary School, where her kids are all students, heard about what happened and right away began trying to collect donations for the family and let people know where they could give if they wanted to. That's what being a counselor is all about, getting out in the community and helping and and letting them see your face and getting what they need. Now, Horson and her three children already have an entire room full of clothes, sanitary items, toys, and more. People have also sent money to help mom get back on her feet again. I just want to tell everyone thank you. Thank you, thank you, and continue to bless our family. We need it, and we're thankful. Right now, there is an immediate need for monetary donations and toiletries. You can bring those things here to Threadgo Primary School, or you can send your donations to Miss Williams through her Cash App or Venmo. But Miss Horrison told me she's just very thankful and blessed for whatever you can provide. Reporting in Sheffield, Alexis Scott, Weathered One News.